This is an encaustic board and it's made by Ampersand. It's one of my favorite surfaces to work on because it comes pre-gessoed and there are many varieties. There's gesso board, encaustic board, clay board, and each one has its um, uh, specialties as far as what type of medium you can use it for. But um, I really like to use these because they're ready to go and they just have a lovely smooth surface. Uh, and I do work in encaustic as well, so it's nice to have encaustic board. I can work on it in cold wax medium and oil as well. Okay, so I'm just going to take the label off, and here it is. It's just this beautiful white, all gessoed for you. You don't have to do anything. It's ready to go. This is a 12 by 12 inch panel. And this company also makes their own frames, their own floater frames, which is really nice um, because when you're done with it, they'll make a frame that, you know, fits it exactly. So I've got some leftover paint here and I thought it'd be kind of fun just to um, play around. And I've got some pigment sticks here as well. I think I'll just wipe off the end. So in the spirit of play, I've got a brand new panel here and I'm just going to put down some of this very beautiful, um, it's cadmium red light, it's almost kind of fluorescent and it's just got a lovely texture. You can kind of see how against this gorgeous gessoed surface it's luscious and this is olive yellow. I'm not using a limited palette because I've got just leftover colors here and um, I'm really just wanting to play. So. Got some leftover blue, which is ultramarine blue. I think I'll get out my brayer for that. This is a transparent color, which is quite beautiful. You can kind of see that the pigment stick. Um, you, you know, the blue is transparent and you can kind of see the, the pigment stick through it depending on how hard you press. Every time you pass, you know, with the brayer, you have differing levels of um, opacity, transparency. It's just kind of fun to see what you get. And, you know, you can draw into this. The beauty of this uh, encaustic board is that um, the gessoed surface is just so, so smooth and so easy to pull back paint on that I can reveal, you know, that gorgeous mark that was put down early just by skimming that back. So I'm kind of revealing. It's just really fun to explore and see what kind of impact you get with every tool. So here I've got this large white area and I think I'll take some of the, um, let's see what this is, transparent earth orange. I just want to put some of that on there. So it's kind of this orange and blue. Uh, again, you can pull it back. pulled it all the way back to that pigment stick there, cadmium red light, and then if I go this way, it's now smearing that line that was built up paint. Very interesting effect. Maybe I want some red up there. I've got red in my palette as well which is not transparent and it's actually, I'm mixing it quite a bit here with all the other colors that were put down. Sometimes I like to just see how quickly I can pull off a painting. You know, I, I, I have a lot of panels and I, I just want to um, get things going, uh, get a strong composition. It doesn't mean it has to take a long time. Sometimes things can happen quickly. 
I mean, I talk a lot about the play stage and explore, you know, and clarify, but there's nothing saying that that can't all happen in, in a very short amount of time. So that's the cool thing. There is no time limit. It's just, it's really just um, when you have what it is that you're looking for, that you can say you really like it, um, that's what counts. So, okay, so that got a little, um, a little mixed. Uh, it's not, certainly not saturated. I'm going to put my grade down reds in a different area so they don't get mixed with the pure. Now if I take a pigment stick and I work back into this, let's see how that works. Um, this was put down first on the gessoed surface, but if I go into wet paint, you know, I don't expect it to be quite as... Oh, there we go. I guess it does go pretty well on top of there. I thought it might slip and slide, but um, that's kind of cool. And then in this area here, I can always take a pencil and just work back into that. Mark making you can do, you know, at any time. This is with a pencil. This bizarre yellow again. Fill this in. So if I want to keep working into wet paint, which is what this is right now, I have to kind of work thick into uh, thick, you know, thickish paint into what's here because otherwise um, it's not going to work very well. But I can mix on the panel here. Can change that red a little bit. Just curious what it's going to do over that pigment stick. I want to smooth this out even more. That's a different quality. That's really smooth. Can't do that with a brayer. Okay, I'm going to mix up some different blues here. I've only got one kind of blue, just this one value, but if I mix some white with it, It's really a challenge to see how far I can go just with things wet into wet. Um, this is blue. Take the yellow one. Maybe I'll introduce some of that down here just for a shift. I think some bright red in here. It has to go really thick because it's wet into wet. It's more like what can I get away with right now. My palette knife is almost parallel to the surface. It's the only way to get away with what I'm doing when the paint is this wet. But I'm trying to see if I can, um, how many, you know, how many passes I can do making new shape. Uh, even at this stage, this is rather thin. I could probably do something in there. Let's see, how about if I take a woody that's white, just out of curiosity if I can, I'm not sure if this will work, but I'm curious. Yeah, that works pretty well. I was wondering if I could get all the way down to the gessoed surface with this mark.
switching between acrylic and um, cold wax medium, so I have to keep reminding myself of this is a different medium. I got to do some things that are different now. I can't can't treat them the same way. Um, I want to take some of this beautiful transparent earth orange and take it up here. See what happens. It's going to kind of dull that blue. But then I can also lift quite a bit of it like this. Almost down to the surface. 